Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Alright, so this is going to be a, a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising. A monthly tarot reading August 2000, uh, September, excuse me, September 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we're going to jump right into it. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic of your month, that is going to be the team there. We do have the Six of Wands, followed by the next one, which stands for the peripheral activities, which you can uh, go for, or if you decide it doesn't work the hassle, you can completely skip. Then we do have uh, the challenges that you need to overcome. This is going to be the Five of Cups. Afterwards is going to be the positive aspect of the month here, having the Three of Cups. And in the last one, that stands for the guidance that Saru is offering to you, uh, Gemini, this is going to be the um, death card. So, uh, pretty straightforward. It's, um, that's my air conditioning. It's going to stop in a second. So, about this month, you can really make a difference, right? That is the good thing that is to happen here. And you can uh, start sharing your good fortune with others. So this is what the whole month is all about. But before we go into that and scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards down one more time. So we do have the Six of Wands, which stands for the topic, followed by the next one uh, is going to be the Six of Pentacles, which represents the peripheral activities. Afterwards, it is the Five of Cups, which stands for the challenge. Then it is the Three of Cups, which represents the positive aspect. And in the last one, is going to be the death card, which uh, stands for the uh, guidance that Tsar is offering. All right, so the first one, which represents the topic, we do have the, the general team here, we do have the Six of Cups. Awesome card, guys, it does point reaching an important milestone into our work or into our relationship. You know, whatever you are aiming for, you are gonna make a significant progress into that direction. Such a big progress that you are to start receiving the rewards for it and as well you are to be recognized for it either. So just to give you an example, you can make such a significant pro progress into your job that your, um, your boss accolades you. You can make a significant progress into your relationship so your... Um, your partner here understands that they ain't gonna find any better person than you in the near future, that is. Or, you know, if you are single, you can make such a significant progress into dating with someone that they may start considering, you know, um, to give it a go and to make a, a commitment. So the point here is that a, a significant progress is to be done toward your achievement. Uh, now, important thing, however, to be acknowledged is that this isn't the end of the job. This isn't the end of the deal here, right? And you need to continue on performing as well as you are performing up until this point. The accompanied card is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. The formation, it is a active neutral. So with the Eight of Pentacles, this is a testament that uh, the uh, 
hard part is over. And from now on, uh, up until the end of uh, uh, the conquest, all right, whatever this um, Six of Wands conquest represents for you, it will be a piece of cake. I mean, it's just only going to require your presence and a little bit of an effort, but you definitely um, build, it, build up a, a solid foundation there, you know, you tackled with the minor and, inter and irritating details. Uh, you have exerted your conscientious conscientiousness into it so everybody see you know how much you want it you know and do, that you this isn't something like a uh, uh, um, well it is a yearning all right but it is not a, a thing that you're going to abandon uh, soon after if you know what I mean okay uh, and uh, it's it's a thing that you're going to value and cherish especially positive for a, a relationships endeavor now the next one it is the um, peripheral activities that you can go for this is the six of uh, pentacles and it, it points only to one thing here in such a follow-up to share your good fortune with others because as we saw you are going to make a significant progress into your job into your relationship you know into your endeavors in general and now it's time for you um if you will that is because it's very conditional cut you know to start sharing this progress with the people which are around you you know people that require help people that are not as fortunate as you are in this specific month of a uh, September 2019. Now the Six of Pentacles also uh, points to a, um, how do I say it? Um, that you should, uh, you should not only try but attend to certain activities which nobody else can, right? Things that are naturally, naturally yours to tackle with and you shouldn't leave them hanging in the void but instead try to just sort them out and, and, and get it over with throughout the month of September. The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Swords formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we do have so uh, this uh, with the page of swords it is important to be said that your help or your sharing good fortune with others is not going to entirely resolve their problems as a matter of fact ain't going to resolve problems at all but uh, it's going to make their time much more easier than before and with that they are going to start feeling these people that you're sharing your good fortune with are going to start feeling that they owe you one and when you need it you know an unexpected help from them is going to come or new source of help I would say from them is going to come around exactly at the time like said you need it. Now, important thing here uh, is that you shouldn't brag about your points, uh, your your position. You shouldn't uh, kind of like criticize those people because you have no idea about the battle that they're leading. If you can help, great. If you can't help, that is great too, you know, but just don't try to smother them beneath all. Now, the next one is about the challenges that you need to overcome. We do have the Five of Cups. So with the Five of Cups, it's important to be acknowledged that uh, things are, um, how do I say it? Well, yeah, things are not done. Like like said with the first card, I mean, you may you may have some sort of a deadline to, to, to have your achievement done by the end of September. And quickly, uh, when, the September, when the September moves forward, you may realize that you will need more time. It isn't as simple as you thought, or it has a te technical, technological, excuse me, a, a time frame that has to be kept in. So for that reason, it is all about aligning. The challenge here it is going to be all about aligning to the new circumstances after you kind of like um, conquered summit and conquer this uh, this milestone, significant improvement and significant advance into uh, into your endeavors. Now, important thing to know is that you may kind of have to uh, deal with certain losses, right? Small losses, that is, unsubstantial ones, which are just the temporary losses, but uh, you can quickly afterwards recover. The accompanied card here is going to be uh, the, uh, the Hierophant. So what's, uh, what can we say about these cards? First of all, they are passive uh, 
friends and those losses again are natural losses but what i mean is that you need to sacrifice one thing to achieve the other and you can't go without it additionally to that with these two cards there are some sort of a uh, mm, trust jeopardy what i mean is that um well trust jeopardy and as well uh, yeah, trust jeopardy in the sense of that you may trust certain people, but in the same time, those people may um, open up untrustworthy. I don't know how to say it. All right. No, because they betrayed you in any way, but because the tasks, the task you are relying on from them to do, they couldn't able to do it. All right. They gave everything, but they couldn't. So you relied this to be done. It isn't done. And now you have to deal with uh, the circumstances which are not going to be um, that severe once again. No different than, for example, you realize that your husband is going to take the, ch the children from the school and halfway, myth, uh, halfway through the afternoon, they call you and say that they can't. So you have to, you know, even if it is a certain loss of time, you need to adapt to it, do it, you know, and it's not going to be a big deal at all. So the next one, it's about the positive aspect here for your month, Gemini, and that is going to be the Three of Cups. Needless to say, the Three of Cups points for a fast productivity in this specific case. Fast productivity in a sense of that whatever you try to do, you will quickly start, start seeing that these things are uh, forming, they're shaping, they're producing results. Additionally to that, the Three of Cups points to support from everybody around you, they are going to share your vision, all right? They will be eager to cooperate with you. And the best thing is that these people are not going to criticize you at all. But the biggest uh, incorporation of this card into this reading is the fast productivity, okay? The accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Cups formation. It is a passive uh, supporters here. And it seems that you're going to settle on this productivity and this support, this fellowship that is going to uh, form into the month of September. And that is going to give you a, a great, great sense of security and emotional cultivation in a sense of that your emotions are going to be rock solid, secure, and no one can get into you guys. No one can make your life go miserable. No one can make you feel despondent, miserable, and, and, and poignant as well even though these words are synonyms you know but the thing is that you're going to create your fortress if i may express it that way fortress that cannot be impregnant all right uh, then the last one is going to be the death card so that is the guidance and it pretty much divulges what you have to do with all that will make a difference that's the whole point you do have everything you do have the timing you do have the means you do have the progress you do have everything to make a progress in your life to abandon certain unhealthy habits to burn bridges with the past you know to change your life drastically here and you got to do it. You need to use these circumstances that the reading told you, the support from the people, you know, the fast productivity that you are going to have, the significant achievement that you are going to get, the, the help that you're going to give to the other people that are going to owe you one and going to receive such, such help in the future. So you can, you know, change that situation in your life, which is the toughest one you have to deal with. And yeah, the accompanied card here is going to be the um, Ten of Swords, the formation, it is a passive neutrals. So with this, uh, uh, these cards are pointing that it's going to be easier than you're anticipating that change, that making of a difference, all or, or, or right? You don't have to go to the extreme, you don't have to break anything, all right? But you can't do it in a, such a fashion that, for example, if you need to make a, a, a change into your, um, into your marriage, it doesn't have to... Be, uh, it doesn't have to be through ultimatum, like you either do it or I leave, all right? It could be done in a, such a more mild or way that everybody is going to be happy, okay, at the end of the day. So you do have the, the, it's not even the power, but you do have everything right, set on right, such a, in a, such alignment to uh, improve your life drastically in the month of September. So uh, that being said, Gemini, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for September 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.